911, what's your emergency? Uh, uh, I think my, my voice, I'm sick. Okay, I think I know what's going on. Have you heard of this? The four-year transform? Um, it's actually pronounced a four-year transform because the mathematician was French. Okay, give me a C. Uh, your voice, because of autotune, is perfect and forms a sine wave. But mine, ah, uh, would look like a messy scribble. The waveform of your voice shows loudness over time. But autotune doesn't care about time. It cares about frequency. And that's where the Fourier transform comes in. It converts a time. base signal to a frequency-based signal measured in hertz. Fourier realized that you could express any sinusoidal waveform as the sum of simple sine waves, like Lego blocks for sound. Autotune uses the Fourier transform as part of its algorithm to determine the fundamental frequency of the sound wave, and then it snaps to the nearest pitch. Finally, we use the inverse Fourier transform to revert the fixed frequency back to its original waveform. Wait, did you just rewind me? Whoa, 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 sir, you need to calm down. I, I think I know just the solution. Let's sing a song. Wait, where's the music coming from? Wait, wait, stop this. F of T takes input waveform quickly. W outputs frequency. And the scary part makes a spike to show the frequency clearly. The normal transform, it is really kind of slow. It uses n squared operations, that's a load. Fast Fourier is the opposite of slow. And login operations make you fast and whoa. Whew, you know what? That actually felt kind of good. See? But it's not just music. The Fourier transform allows radios to have different channels and frequencies to choose from. We can detect earthquake waves, so buildings can be designed to avoid certain frequencies. That's why the fast Fourier transform is included in the top 10 algorithms in the 20th century. It takes chaos, messy signals like voices, radio waves, and even earthquakes, and reveals the hidden structure underneath. 